I consider myself a sneaky boy, just like a private investigator. Today I'm going to team up with a private investigator and try to find someone suspected of $10 million insurance fraud. Hopefully this car doesn't run me over. I'd hate to die. I just walked into your office. Are you a private investigator? I am. What does a private investigator do? There's many things that we can do, uh, from background checks and locates to surveillance. Do you take a lot of photos as part of your job? Yes, I do my best to videotape everything with that. I can get photos. Is your Instagram super cool? Not cool. Do you have any interest in taking over my Instagram for a day? None. What was the scariest job you've ever been sent on? As I was going up with the repo driver to kind of like check out the situation, the guy stormed out of the house, pinned me against the wagon with a knife to my throat, and it took about maybe like five minutes to convince him to, to not cut us. Wow. Yeah, he was arrested, did a couple nights in jail, I guess. I don't like when anyone puts knives against my throat. Yeah, I didn't care for it much either. I don't like shaving. I like having a beard that's like a few inches. Can you show me some of the equipment you use on your missions? A lot of investigators now use um, drones. It's to help us locate a, a vehicle if we're looking for a particular person and there's like a large estate or we can't get near the property. Um, drones help us in that way to get like a little bird's eye view. Could you call a taxidermist and put a fake bird on top of here? and no one would know what it is. They'd think, oh, maybe that bird has some kind of pacemaker or some kind of heart problem. I'm gonna let it go. I'll let it slide. Let it slide. Hey, are you parched? Do you want a soda? Would you like a sip? I would love a sip of your soda. This is not just a average Coke bottle. There's a camera in the Coke bottle itself. Oh, wow. It's a stash bottle. So if for any reason I have to go indoors or I need to talk to you, and I like to bring like multiple cameras just in case one fails or, you know, clearly, you know, Murphy's Law. And there we go. Wow. So what I could do with this while we're talking, I could just go ahead and like set it down somewhere and it's inconspicuous and it'll keep filming us. I can be a pretty sneaky boy, so I want to join you on a job tonight. Is that cool with you? That's cool. What kind of a job are we going on tonight? Tonight we're going to try to locate an individual that's on a $10 million insurance claim. They're suspected of, the legal term is malingering, and um, that's where someone's basically overhyping and their extent of the, of the claim. They're faking a limp? They're claiming that they can't use their legs due to a disease that they had received from an accident. I'm gonna get in your car and you're going to drive to this suspect's house? Tonight we want to just at least get signs of them in Los Angeles. Uh, their, their claim is out of state. The insurance companies don't know where this person is, but I believe they're in LA. If we see this person in LA, does that mean you and I win $10 million? Sadly, no. We can put on the air conditioning in your car, we can laugh about old times, and we can talk about future vacations. Maybe a little Tupac? We can wear two pays and listen to Tupac. My case file here has her basic information along with a known associate. So what we're gonna do tonight is hopefully locate her and if she's not where we're hoping she is, we're gonna then go ahead and track out to the second individual. So do police ever pull you over and ask what you're up to? If you're doing your job correctly as a private investigator, you shouldn't be having any problems like, hey, they shouldn't see you pull up and kind of disguise yourself or what have you or just slip in in your car. If they do, you're doing a pretty shitty job. And or B, if it's a really bad neighborhood, you may even want to consider calling ahead. You know, letting the police know, like, hey, calling in a code five. I'm going to be on this hundred block and it's kind of this kind of case. You know, they'll cut you some, uh, some leeway. What is your favorite speed limit? I like 45 miles per hour. So what I'd like to do is cut the lights. So at this point, we're on location. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of my car, walk the block and see what I could gather as far as information. I wanna see if I could find vehicles, see if I could see any names on mailboxes, etc. 
and slip back out of the neighborhood. Before you go, if we hear gunshots and you don't come back to the car, should we get a taxi out of the area? Just wait a little longer. You wanna leave the auto and if I'm like, fuck my life, holy shit. You guys just start the car and get the fuck out of here. I'll be fine. I really hope he survives. I mean, honestly, Ken, something bad could happen to Ken and, and we would be stuck in his car with thousands of dollars of equipment. very quiet. His wife is about to have a kid, and he's just prowling the streets around midnight. This is awful. I would be very surprised if Ken came back into the car with a gun and stole my wallet. We've locked the door somewhere. So at this location, <clears throat> it's kind of what I suspected. I, don't, I didn't really see any signs of life of her, as in like, her name's not on anything. There's no access like to these, apart these particular apartments that I was looking at. Um, not only that, I didn't see, I didn't see what I believe her vehicle would be. So um, what we're gonna do is check that, that second location where I believe one of her her male companions lives. So off we go. Her lover? Did they make love? Call it what you want. Sex buddy. What kind of music do you listen to when you're snooping? I really don't. I'm so sorry, man. You gotta listen to Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. So right now we're arriving at the second location. I already see a good sign. I know she has children. And when we drew, when we made a drive past the first the little first passerby, I noticed there were there were little girls like bicycles out front, and there were other toys like sitting like by the front porch, and so to me those are like terrific signs like I, I'm probably in the right place. No, if anything happens, just drive off. How long do you think you're going to be gone this time? This will not be as long as the last time. This will be less than five. All right. Okay. Good luck. So tight. Thank you. BRB. If you think about it, he looks so shady. See, now I'm suspicious of everyone. Anybody who's walking their dog at midnight, they're probably selling cocaine out of their dog. Slinging cocaine out of their dog's butt cheeks. Oh, here comes Ken. Ken, you're not very good at estimating time that you're gonna be gone. That was in three minutes? No! I'm now very concerned about you being the father of a child. <laughs> Saying, I'll be right back, honey. And you're back a year later. Yeah. What did you see? Okay, so I like, I like this location to start my surveillance. And the reason being is, like I said before, um, there's kids' toys, there's bicycles. Um, I, I know this gal has a couple kids, um, actually little girls. She posts them on her social media, so I know um, the chances are she could be there. So you think this was a victory? I do. The next step is to actually perform surveillance. 
I feel like you and I really connected tonight as buddies, and we are pretty good at co-sneaking together. Would you ever work with me again? Yeah, of course. Are you gonna go home and celebrate? What are you gonna do to celebrate? Definitely not gonna celebrate. I feel like tonight was a success. I have a pretty good idea of like where I'd like to start um, in the next day or two. So I'll call it a I'll call it a wrap. To celebrate, I'm gonna go to sleep under someone else's car tonight. I think you and I look exactly the same, but you are about five years older than me. One of my top five favorite things to do with my face is to cry. What are some of your favorite things to do with your face? Shave.